you, Jane. What do you want to do tonight? The same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. The Pinky and the Brain. Yes, Pinky and the Brain. One is a genius, the other's insane. The laboratory mice. The genes have this mice. The Pinky. The Pinky and the Brain. Brain, 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 brain. What's up, what's up, what's up, you all? Fellow brothers in Christ and sisters in Christ, uh, and the individuals who are not in Christ, brothers and sisters. Uh, well, they're not my brother and sister, so you may not like that. I don't like that either because of the way I grew up. But uh, thank you guys. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. Let's pray first. Father God, thank you for this day. Father God, thank you for this moment. Father God, thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for our manna, Father God, in Jesus' name. Thank you for our manna, Father God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father God. I am nothing without you. I'm just being honest. This is the truth. This is what I understand. This is what I understand. Jesus' says, nah. Father God, thank you, Father God. Greater knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, Father God. I do not approve of myself. What am I trying to say? Father God will show you approve. Everything that I share on this channel is what it resonates with me. Like I said it before, he resonates with me the way he is, his personality. I'm not saying everything. Uh, so that is my purpose and my calling. This is what I now know. And so this video, I'm not trying to take anything from anyone. I'm just I'm sharing my sister in Christ's video so she can explain it to you all what she says is who i am it's what resonates with me but father god will show me approved father god will not miguel definitely not satan but actually he is because this is what i didn't understand before that these individuals like why are they being like this with me i just i'm treating people the way i would like to be treated as it is in the word of god uh so I was like, why are these people treating me like this? I'm supposed to be a team. Yo, dog. Bro. I don't know. Man. Not boy. Man. I'm supposed to be a team here. <laughs> but anyways, so she, she breaks it down real good here. Uh, check out the video. I recommend you watch the whole thing. And, uh. What else did I want to say, Lord? What did you want to say, Father God? Right. So when these individuals come to me now to try to humble me or to try to step on me, uh, when Satan comes to me, through these individuals, through their inner demons, to try to humble me and step on me and tell me that I'm not who God says I am, not who I say I am, Father God says I am. It is in his word. They're just, it's confirmation. Like, thank you, brother. Well, thank you, Satan. Thank you for confirming who I am. So this is happening to you. This is confirmation. That you are on your right path. Keep going. There was something else, but I can't. I'm trying to recall it. Well, don't try, Miguel. Just do it. I need help, Father God. What was it? <clears throat> All right, I remember. So, 
Yes, everything that she's speaking about here, that Father Guide is speaking about through her in this video is true. It is true. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. So I remember now, and I say this with total, complete humbleness. I just now understand this now. Now understand this. I now understand this. When Satan uses these individuals to come and try to humble me, it's a, it's a compliment, man. It's a compliment. Just like with David Goggins, when all those people see him running and they're talking crap, it's a compliment. Now I get it. So thank you. Thank you for complimenting me. Thank you, Satan. Jesus name. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for protect for your protection, for your holy blood, Father God. I pray in Jesus' name that you bless this word. You, Father God, the message that you're seeking to communicate through me, in Jesus' name. If this whatever is not of you that came out of me, Father God, I pray that it doesn't. That people don't receive it, especially your people, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. So, y'all, check this video out. It's your choice. It's up to you. Nah, doesn't matter to me. I know who I am. But you, brother and sister, keep going. We're in a battle. It's all right. He who is within you, the Holy Spirit, is greater than he who is in the world, all right? Our Lord Jesus overcame the world, and this is what he has passed down to us. Now we can overcome the world. The flesh, our feelings, our emotions, our thoughts. We got this. Many people who say Jesus is Lord, Hi you guys, welcome to my channel, it's Anushka Ray. I'm a prophetess for the Most High and I post Christian content for the Chosen Ones. So in this video, I'm talking about how Chosen Ones, you're a walking mystery. You're a walking mystery. This is how your enemies perceive you and how most people in the world perceive you. You carry God's spirit and your enemies made a vow to stalk, to stalk God's spirit in the spirit realm. They are seeking a satanic way to access god they don't want to access god through jesus they don't want to take jesus as their lord and savior jesus is not lord for many people who say jesus is lord but they can't access heaven and be born again without going through jesus they know this so that's why they try to come to you like in the movie matrix because you have the mainframe codes you have the christ light and they have to stalk us and they have to copy us and to try and steal from us and imitate us because they want your God spark. But they can't because you can't imitate love and you can't imitate God. You can create an illusion, you can create a poor imitation, but it's never the real thing. So this is how you look to your enemies, chosen one. You end up looking like a walking mystery right you look very aloof a lot of people in this world they want this aura of mystique of intrigue of aloofness of being desirable um you know and it's all manufactured through you know like dark psychology etc like just satanic ways demonic ways and um you get to have this unasked for aura of mystery and power to you because you chose righteousness like you took the path the narrow path you chose righteousness you chose love you chose truth um, you persevered through through tests through trials you know you didn't bow down to any other gods and that infuriates them because they don't have that same strength they're cowards pretty much they're cowards so that's how you look to your enemies you remind them of everything that they're not so you know they play games with mirrors and and reflection you're the biggest mirror you're the biggest mirror you end up looking like a walking mystery 
you end up looking like you've discovered so much and achieved so much not in a worldly way that people have you know traveled the world and people look at them and they say this man he's done it all this man he knows everything you know he looks like he's traveled the four seas the four corners but as a person for you chosen one you've you've achieved great things spiritually you've overcome mountains and giants in the spiritual realm and and dominions and principalities you've overcome these things through christ through christ who strengthens you by the power of the holy spirit um, you didn't have to go to demons to make you feel powerful so you get to see things in the unseen spiritually legally through jesus not illegally by demonic means or by substance abuse um, but you chose the door of the heart you know and a lot of people they've denied themselves in the perverted way they've denied their souls right because satan perverts everything so you end up looking mad and mysterious you know you end up looking like people say ethereal but it really is it's christ-like you have overcome the world you have overcome satan you have overcome death you've overcome all the challenges that a man can overcome and you still are going forward and you still are overcoming more they're annoyed they don't want to hear that they don't want to see you because you remind them of all those tests that they failed so you end up looking mad and mysterious not like einstein you know not like a mad scientist but like jesus because they even said to jesus do you have a devil in you they thought that you know satan was casting out satan because you guys, you know, chosen ones, you speak in parables, you don't speak in riddles. Your wisdom that you speak, it's too high for the people that are hearing it. You know, they hear it, but they hear it not. Your tongue is a blade of life. It's the sword of the spirit, more precious than choice silver. So you end up saying things that only the Holy Spirit would know and that only God would know himself. You know, you can only say, oh, okay, that must be God. Um, even though their pride won't let them but they know so the gift of knowledge the gift of wisdom understanding discernment you're given all these things freely jesus said i'll give you all things freely that's what someone does when you love someone they pour into you you know they edify because you receive these gifts through love and this is why people want to humble you you know they want to humble you so badly so badly they're going to do anything to try and humble you because you have something that they don't have but they're gonna get it you know they, they always say they've been saying it for years since man was created or since you know the demons came on earth and tried to persuade men there's nothing new under the sun it's been happening time and time again and it's written you know it's written god also showed me how it always looks like you're on the run from them as well uh they can never get you they can never really trap you even though they lay down traps you know but it says in the word it's in the word that the wicked lay down traps but then they end up getting caught in it themselves so they can never get you and that's how it seems you know you're always out of their grasp always out of their grasp you're always out of their fingertips because spiritually they don't own you that's why they can't fully get a hold on you they don't own you they don't have ownership of you you know you own a home and you've got your name on it you own that that thing god has his ownership on you he god owns you they don't own you um and jesus said he literally said no one will snatch them out of my hands you know they trapped me physically in a mental hospital they've trapped many other saints you know in prisons and things paul included but spiritually we're still not trapped all right so you seem really wise beyond your years you probably always have been that way and you just stick out like a sore thumb you know you're different you're not like everyone else uh, you carry God's love and you're not focused on gimme gimme it's all about me you don't have a narcissistic spirit you carry the spirit of charity and of love forgiveness long-suffering patience the fruits of the Holy Spirit and that's rare to see that's what it really means to be a rare gem to be a follower of Christ it's very rare you know you don't see it too often so that's why you're a rare gem uh, you have care in your heart you have care in your heart you have composure you have compassion um, which is not of this world 
but from God's world, from God's, from God's heaven. Your love is not of this world. Your love is from heaven. You have the highest frequency of love and God is high above all things. That's why you can discern all things. It says in 1 Corinthians 2, 14, 15, the spiritual man discerns all things, but he himself is to be judged by no one. He himself is to be judged by no one. And every tongue that rises up, you will condemn. So another reason why you seem mysterious is because you're literally um, born again. You know, you died. You were once dead in the spiritual realm. You didn't have life. You didn't have God. God is life. And you didn't have God. So now that you're born again, you have God, you have life. You have something spiritually sustaining you. You have sustenance. You have spiritual support. You have spiritual backing. You have spiritual bodyguards. You've got your angels that come down here on earth to protect you. Um, so you seem mysterious to people. You know, you are always 10 steps ahead of them, even though it seems like sometimes you might not be, but God made the chessboard and you know, you are his favorite chess piece. So spiritually, you've been brought back to life from death. So naturally, if someone, you know, if we see that physically happen, if someone gets brought back to life, you know, physically, um, there's, there, that's kind of miraculous. You know, there's something spiritual has, has happened and that's happened to you internally. So naturally, there's a certain quality that you radiate. If you were once dead in the spirit and your soul had no life or God, uh, and now you're given life. So naturally you radiate life now and God's breath and God's spirit is in you. His breath is in you, you know, to the core of your being, your DNA, everything in you. You don't just radiate a glow or a light that blinds and shocks and stuns, you know, your light is not stunning in the sense that it's like trying to grab attention. You're not doing this for attention. You're not doing this to get people to do something else. You know, it's not a cover up. Your light is not deceptive. Your light is truth. You have the spirit of truth in you. And you have the spirit of understanding. You have the spirit of might, of counsel, of wisdom, power, fear of the Lord and spirit of the Lord. But with Lucifer, he had beauty, but he lacked spiritual smarts and wisdom. He has cunning, he has evil genius, but he was foolish because he deluded himself trying to destroy God. Look where it's ending him up. Uh, God who is uncorruptible, God who cannot be destroyed. Um, you know, it's not adding up. Pride blinded him and then it became his death sentence. So we see this happening all over the world. You know, people are not dying because of natural causes. People are dying because of pride. Pride is a spiritual death sentence. You also have the spirit of obedience because God's love will, God's love will make you want to obey him. You know, you're going to want to do things that the average man won't do because that love is so powerful and strong. You know, that arm of God is a strong arm. Um, it will lift you up, it will edify you. It will bring you back to life. That's how strong God's love is. His righteousness is unmatched. God is unmatched. The amazing thing about love is, as well, is that it's really patient. You know, love will, love will wait on you. It's not vain, it's not seeking gain, it's not conceitful, it's not deceptive, it's not prideful. Nor is it envious nor selfish. Love brings you strength, it edifies you. It does something to your bones and your and your marrow. Like it will it will change you. It it changes you. Um, and if there's no love in your heart, you can't fake it, you can't force it. It will always end up showing. And God's love never fails. You know, it's it's never ending as well. It's pure. And it's not corrupt because he's not corruptible. You can't corrupt God. God's love stands the test of time. God's love is a guaranteed sure thing. All other things will fall by the wayside and it won't amount to much. God's love isn't a drug or something that you can chemically replicate because God is unmatched. 
his throne is extremely exclusive so bear in mind i'm speaking this over you as well because you're his child you know he's the alpha and the omega you're the child of the alpha and the omega your throne is above satan's throne so god's love cannot be matched and when you love someone you let them go you let them do their own thing you give them free will and you don't control you don't force you know otherwise that's hate um, and there's no love in you it says in the word if you don't love your brother and sister then you don't love god god is the poetic source and the muse for all creation as well you know every single love poem every single thing every song written every movie has been from the inspiration of love and life which is god so everything always goes back to him everything was created for him everything was um, I think it's Colossians 2.10, I believe. I'll leave it on the screen. Everything was created for him and by him. Many people are studying God. They're studying him. You know, they sit around tables. They have been for years. Um, but they're going to do it this time. You know, they're definitely going to do it this time. To try and understand him and to take him down. This is how they, they think. Because they've been given over to strong delusion. Um, not knowing that it's impossible you know God's never gonna give up his throne to anyone so that's all I have to say I hope this resonates and you receive this in your spirit that I'm speaking this about you as well that you can see how chosen you are and that you wake up to who you've always meant to be so that's all I have to say in this video thank you for watching subscribe to stay tuned hit the notification bell and donate if you feel called to with the PayPal and Stripe link down below and comment your thoughts as well. Give this video a thumbs up to help my algorithm and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok as well at Anushka Vare. and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Doesn't need to break any where you want to go and how you want to go and how you want to get there. You got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep rooted. When you quit, your mind says we're done. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't wanna do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, run at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn, what do you want in your life?